RSVP is part of a larger family of programs that are called um, under the Corporation for National Community Service, AmeriCorps, the Foster Grandparent Program, the Senior Companion Program, and the RSVP Program. And all of us in some ways reach out to people and say, consider giving back. Consider using your skills, your talents, your, your passions, your time to address a need in the community. Volunteering is not only essential to communities by filling uh, those gaps, it's, it's essential to the health of the volunteer themselves. It's a sense of purpose that, that drives them and also serves them as they are serving others. RSVP um, not only says to people what is it that you love to do, but we also are given certain priorities, um, areas that are of greatest need. One of the areas that is of great need are programs that help older adults to stay independent in the community. I'm Alan Wilds and um, I work with, or on behalf of Erie County Senior Services, uh, running two separate programs but based on the same sort of idea. Uh, one is directed especially for diabetics, the other one is for general chronic diseases and the self-management programs uh, and the emphasis is on self-management. So we're encouraging people to learn some tools and take them away and uh, hopefully use them for the rest of their lives and get benefit from it. It's absolutely fantastic the response you get. People just walk up. I, just today this lady wouldn't let me walk away until she explained to me how vital this program was to her. It's extremely rewarding in the sense that it's amazing that you can get a group of strangers come together at the beginning of the project which runs for six weeks and within two hours they're talking like they've known each other forever. We also need more people who um, want to teach people. The Buffalo Public Schools have a, a tremendous need for adults who are willing to spend some time with, with a child. My name is Margaret Hillegas, and I became involved with RSVP in 2013. Um, I received, when I retired, I always thought that I would volunteer somewhere, doing something, and I got a letter from the Western New York retirees, a newsletter, and it had a story on the cover that they were looking for kindergarten volunteers in the city of Buffalo and I thought, oh my goodness, that's for me. <laughs> that's exactly what I should be doing. And the wonderful thing about RSVP is that they make sure that you match the person that you're going to be working with, that it's a comfortable situation. They want you to be happy. And we set up a time that was good for Kelly and for me, for me to come in. And I started the very next week. It was so fast and so perfect. I am receiving more than I ever could have thought. It's really wonderful. I loved being a kindergarten teacher, but I love being a kindergarten volunteer. It's just me and the little kids doing what's asked of me. I'm Ann Constantino. I've been at the center for 12 years. I've been teaching and I enjoy it very much. I have a nice class and I'm 90, I'm gonna be 95 years old. I like to teach exercise because it keeps me young and I don't have anything at home much to do because I'm all alone. And I've been doing it for 12 years and I've met such wonderful people. We started off with about 10 or 12 and now we got close to 30. So that's what I've been doing and I enjoy it and I hope I continue for a couple more years. I like to tell even all the older people out there that it's never too old to start exercising. Never. There really is no right time. You can change your life. You can do an awful lot of things. And Ann Constantino is a great example of someone who can, who has really changed a lot of lives. Ann's very modest about the things that she's done, but uh, she's done so much good. But what it is really, it's the group environment, uh, each feeding off each other's energy. But the social component feeds into our health. 
You know, isolation is one of the worst things that can happen. And people who do retire, and perhaps having got a wide circle of friends, volunteering opens up an entirely new world for them. And, and at the same time, they're helping other people and they're helping themselves. I guess me seeing it and setting it up and being a part of it makes me feel real good too. Richard, he says I gotta keep doing it till I'm 100. I tell him he's crazy. <laughs> what makes me do this is I, I get a lot of personal satisfaction out of it. It's one of those situations where you get back much more than you give and that makes you keep on coming back. I tell people all the time what a great experience this has been and encourage them to get involved too because people are afraid. People think they won't know what to do, it's gonna to be too hard, how am, I gonna, how am I gonna manage it? And I tell them it's managed for you. I hope to do this until I'm too old to walk or until I'm too old to be able to get up off the rug without a crane lifting me. I meet such nice people, you know, and they say, how much do you get paid? I said, it's volunteer, you don't get paid. I enjoy doing it so much. It helps me and it helps somebody else, so I enjoy that. We never would have achieved our goals if it wasn't for the volunteers, if it wasn't for the RSVP program. Couldn't have done it. They're the lifeblood. Right now we have, I believe, like 27 volunteers who are teaching the classes from Akron right down to Springville, all parts of Erie County. It's a win-win situation. It's just a, a fantastic thing to do for others and to do for yourself.